Hey folks, it's time for a mail video. And, well, okay, hang on. I have a kitten over here trying to get... Watch out now. I have a... <laughs> I have a, a whole uh, cup of these. And I keep these in there because somebody likes to play with these. <laughs> That's what she was trying to get into. Where was I? Uh, let's see. This is a this is going to be a mail video and one special delivery came to me in person. And we're going to kick off with that. But first, it does seem to be the the season for birthdays. So, I was watching Jeff McCormick yesterday. And it's his birthday, and we want to wish him a happy birthday, one of my favorite channels. Uh, we certainly appreciate him, and uh, glad he's in the VC. So happy birthday, Jeff. Now, my ex-work wife, my two-time <laughs> ex-work wife, uh, Mandy Morielli, she came by yesterday at work. No. It was the day before yesterday at work. Today's Sunday. Uh, she came by Friday to bring me my birthday present because my birthday pre my birthday mm, my birthday is tomorrow. We're going let's look look at that package. I've already I already know what's in it. But uh, what do you say, Jakers? He's sitting right off camera. Somebody, and somebody has been playing with the package. That didn't, that didn't just happen, did it, Jay? Or was it Aretha? He ain't talking. All right, so she got me lots of good things for my diet. This, can't wait to get into this. This is double fudge brownie mix. Uh, it's a keto, it's from Keto Candy Girl. It's keto friendly, low carb, no sugar. And it's got, looks like it's got directions on how to make it in the back. I want, <laughs> I will probably make those next weekend. Of course, I eat more sugar-free jello than any person not hospitalized should ever eat so that will get eat we'll get eight get eaten what are we doing jake all right she got me some uh roasted and salted cocktail peanuts low they I eat a lot of peanuts because they're uh, low in uh, carbs, high in protein. She got me some Crystal Light grape. This will be sugar free. It's got to be sugar free. Anyway, Crystal Light. Bacon jerky. <laughs> Love some bacon jerky. Um, yeah, Jack Link's bacon jerky. Pretty good, pretty good present so far. All right, now here comes the main event. Yeah. Well, there are two items. This is the first of the two items. Can you see that? She got me a uh, five pairs of Marvel socks. So they are, whether you can see it or not, I was going to try to show you. Hopefully, this won't take forever. All right, so I'm back. 
and I've got socks out now. Awesome looking socks. Look at this. Got the Incredible Hulk. Got who we got next? We got Hawkeye. Love it because he's wearing the freaking mask. That's my pet peeve is that the uh, with the uh, MCU is that superheroes don't wear the mask. If you're going to play a superhero, wear the mask. It's about the mask, not about your face. So there's Hawkeye looking good. Uh, here comes Iron Man. You may not recognize him because he's got a helmet on. Got some Thor. And finally, Captain America with the mask on. So, love those. Man, those are awesome. Now, the next gift, the last part. Oh, wow. It amuses Amanda to no end to think I have something for Betty White. So, I got the Golden Girls. Let you see it. There you go. The Golden Girls. buddy right there but now I'm not the one with the cat named Betty White okay so that was my gift from Amanda hope you enjoyed that uh, oh wait we've got some records to look at don't we the, the second part of the special delivery. Hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Had a slight wardrobe change. Now uh, we're ready to do, do the stack of vinyl. But first, so Amanda, if you're watching, here you go. This shirt's got kind of a big picture on it. Golden Girls. There we go. Um, so, first up, Paul Clark, Songs from the Savior, Part 2. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Paul Clark. Great musician. Um, works a lot with Phil Keggy. This particular album is got kind of the... Uh, die cut going on um, it's on seed records it is a mid 70s release I'm sure uh, looking for a date don't see one right away but it's probably early to mid 70s. And um, yeah. So I'm working on I'm working on my early Paul Clark albums. Then Alright, so the next two are related. I'm a big fan of Buddy and Julie Miller. I've had their I've been spinning their uh, new album a lot 
I've shown this before. This is uh, Buddy and Julie Miller. Breakdown on 20th Avenue South. Great, great album. Um, so I found out that they had two early albums and I, I went to work trying to get them and I got them at, at uh, really good prices. First one is Partners in Crime. This is probably the earliest uh, Buddy and Julie project that I know of. Uh, they met when they were in this band. In fact, Julie is credited as Julie Griffin on this album. It was done, must have been a custom uh, record. It says Criminal Records, but I, I don't never heard of them before. The Partners in Crime is on the uh, center Centering, so that suggests to me that it's a, uh, and it's 1979 release. It's kind of country rock. So, but now, sound samples for these two albums I'm about to show you are few and far between. I don't even know what to, how to describe this album yet. It is called Streetlight. And, uh... Basically, it's it's Buddy Miller and Julie Miller and some other dude. <laughs> Who is that other dude? Um, not right, sure right offhand. But uh, this cover kind of kills me because Buddy doesn't normally dress like this. It's wrong. And what's funny is that She's kind of holding on to him. He's got a look on his face like he's not happy about it. And she's kind of got a smile like she's proud of him for trying, but she knows it's wrong. And that theory, I think, is supported by the fact that on the back is another picture of him, and she's pointing at him laughing. Anyway... This was on a Christian label, Sparrow, and boy, I really was looking, there's, is there not an insert? There wasn't an insert, so... I do not know who the third guy is. Maybe if I find out, I'll add it in, in the uh, editing. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's two more albums going toward my Buddy and Julie collection. And this next one. I thought was the steel. And it's still could be I have I, I need to clean it I I played just a little bit of it and it sounds like it's gonna play but I after I pulled the the album out I, would, I don't know what to think anyway all right so the album I'm talking about is this album it's called first gear um, the significance of it it's a early Christian funk album um, and it features a Larnell Harris, the uh, Grammy-winning uh, vocalist that I've talked about a lot here, the one who sang songs like, um, oh, well, now, now it all just runs right out of my head. He's done a couple duets uh, with uh, Sandy Patty that were really big. Um, he's had a long career and uh, this is one of the first albums he sang on. There is another first year album. I don't have it yet. Ooh, baby, when I see your face, mellow as the month of May. Ooh, darling, I can't stand it. When you look at me that way, I just got to have your love. Got to have
fill the sky tumbling down, down, tumbling down. Tumbling this album, I thought, was a steal because it typically uh, runs about 25 and up on on eBay. I got it out of a uh, auction and I paid six dollars and fifty cents, and that's free shipping. So I I was really pleased, but when I got it first, they put it in a bubble wrap. I, why would you? The shipping was was definitely lacking, and then when I look at it in the light. I don't know if it'll show up, but it just isn't clear and it's not perfectly smooth. You can kind of see the ripples. It's just... Now, I did play just a little bit just to see if it would even play. And it acted like it wants to play. <laughs> but now, whether or not it does, we'll see once it... Uh, once I... I'd take it through, get it cleaned up, and uh, run it through. But those are the albums that I've picked up. Um, hope everyone's having a great weekend, and uh, we will see you soon. Bye.